Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson. And if you guys have watched my channel, you know that I'm struggling with a bit of an Aptasia problem in my tank. So I'm here at Poseidon's. They're having a 40% off sale with the goal of getting some peppermint shrimp to get that Aptasia problem under control. So let's go get some peppermint shrimp from Poseidon's in Loveland, Colorado. If you have Aptasia in your tank, a peppermint shrimp is a great first step in trying to eliminate them. They only might take care of your Aptasia problem, but they're inexpensive, they look cool, and they're gonna be part of your cleaning crew. So if you have a few Aptasia in a tank, I highly recommend trying a few peppermint shrimp and see what they do for you. Poseidon's had six peppermint shrimp on hand, and Kylie, who I have now dubbed the Shrimp Whisperer, quickly packaged up six peppermint shrimp for me to take home. She also provided my seven-year-old with a bit of a science lesson. Oh, this one's got berries too. Oh, right. What does that mean? That means that they're pregnant. Oh. <laughs> they got babies. But it looks like they, it, their eggs, or they, you know, hang oh, out in their, okay. under their, in their soft bits there, and they just call it, looks like there's berries. Oh, so they okay. just call it berry. I've got the six shrimp home. It was less than $20 for all six of them. Now I've got them acclimating downstairs, but they're going upstairs. All right, I've got six peppermint shrimp in the bowl. I've taken water from the display tank, put it in here, and I'm basically just giving the shrimp a bit of a rinse. The idea is if there's marine velvet or ick or anything in the water, that the rinse is gonna help take care of that. So they've had a bit of a rinse, they're good to go in the tank. All right, sorry about the blurry video, but the six peppermint shrimp are in the tank. Hopefully, they're gonna eat some of that Aptasia. I had great luck with peppermint shrimp getting rid of Aptasia about four years ago, and I'm hoping to repeat that. The trick at the time was to use lots of them, so this time I got six, which was all they had at Poseidon's. Now, you'll notice the tank is all dirty. I just did a water change and I just found a bunch of cyanobacteria downstairs in my sump and in my frag tanks. Now, I get on cyano as soon as I see it and I don't screw with it. To get rid of the cyano, I dosed ChemiClean. I added a couple of extra power heads. These are just a stopgap measure. I really want to do something better long term for the flow in this tank. But for now, I put an old Rio 2500 and like a 10 year old Chinese pump. And you can see, I'm getting tons of flow. So lots of water flow, chemi clean. And I think I got a good shot at beating this. You can kind of see it down here in my sump. And it's not that bad, but like I said, when it starts to rear its head, I jump on it and I get rid of it. It's terrible stuff. Now I've used chemi clean on cyanobacteria in the past and it's worked well. So we're gonna try that again. Now, I didn't quite have enough to totally dose my system. I put what I had in. If I need to order more, we'll order more. The 24 gallon Nano really hasn't been doing that well. The jawfish that lived in here jumped out. I had a lid on it. These guys are notorious jumpers, and yet somehow it still managed to jump out. That sucked. It's a little bittersweet though, because this guy lives in the sand, he burrows around, and he got sand everywhere and really stressed the coral out. So now that he's gone, we've decided we're going to redo the tank again. We're going to take out the coral my wife doesn't like. We're going to put him downstairs and we're going to go with something hopefully a little easier and a little more peaceful. But as you can see right now, the tank's a mess. That's because I just did a 10 gallon water change on a 24 gallon tank. So that's step one in redoing the 24 gallon. Isn't this the third time you've done this tank? I don't know. Thanks for watching this episode of My Hall Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you on the next one.